morning, everybody. We are here to pull cards for June the 2nd. <laughs> I'm going to apologize, guys, because I went to bed last night without getting this video out. I woke up at, what time was it? I think it was like 2.50 and realized, oh my gosh, I did not have a midnight video hit YouTube. And so if I look like I just jumped out of bed, it's because I did just jump out of bed because I'm like, oh no. Yesterday I had planned on making five new videos and uploading them and, you know, life happened and that got thrown out the window and then I forgot to at least make one before I went to bed. So that's what happened there. I would say that's Mercury retrograde, but this is a little bigger than a Mercury retrograde thing. Kind of thinking maybe Pluto going retrograde had something to do with it since I have four planets in the house of Scorpio. <laughs> We've got a lot of things backing up here. So we'll see what happens going forward. This is going to be an interesting thing. But right now, let's get started with our day. La da da da. Oh, okay. Overall energy five of pentacles. This can come in a couple of ways. This can be um, tightening up the belt as far as the budget, maybe feeling like we wish we had a little bit more money. Um, this can also be feeling like an outcast or an outsider whenever it comes to social situations, too as well see that big door with the keyhole there she's outside the door there's the key over in the corner of the card but she's not picking it up and getting in there so this can be feeling like an outsider really because of some things that we're thinking much more than uh what really has to be you know maybe we don't feel like getting out and interacting with people i don't know uh, let's see how this plays out for everybody. For some people, that'll be, both of those will be in play, both the financial and the social aspect. But we'll see. We'll see as we go through each zodiac sign. What comes up? All right, here we go. Aries, starting with you guys. Page of Cups coming up for you, Aries. What's going on here? Page of Cups. When pigs fly. See our flying pig up in the corner there? Boop ba da doo. By the feet. Boop ba da doo doo. Boop ba da doo. Aries, I think there's somebody in your life that you, um, for some of you, yes, you have a crush on them. For others of you, it's not really like that. It's it's not in the romantic realm, but there's somebody that you admire. And I think with that Five of Pentacles coming up, if it, it seems to me like with this combination, there's somebody that you admire and that you would like to talk to them and let them know how uh, important they are to you or how important something that they do is to you. But we see you um, feeling like they wouldn't appreciate that or like that's not appropriate or something like that. Now remember from when we did the overall, that key over there in the middle of the card, the other side of the door from the keyhole, that basically means that however we're feeling about that, not necessarily accurate or true. So, you know, maybe it's not appropriate to run up to them and just hug them in public, but maybe we could send them an email or a Insta message, whatever they call that on Instagram when you send a message or something. All right, so that's for Aries. Boop, ba, da, do, do. Let's look at Taurus. Excuse me, Taurus for June second. Well, you can tell I'm really just barely awake for this, can't you? My apologies, my apologies, guys, for how I look right now, and also for getting this video out late, late, late. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Whoop. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Something going on with that payday not coming in on time, or coming in partial, or coming in slow. 
something is happening with payday where we're expecting to be paid and it's not exactly happening the way we want. Combined with that five of pentacles, tightening of the belt on our budget. Bleh. My rising sign is Taurus. So I say bleh. Bleh. I am expecting a payday later on today. <laughs> we'll see what happens with that. All right, let's see here. Let's see here. Next, we're looking at Gemini. 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 Okay, guys. Here we go. Boop, 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 boop. Judgment card. Okay, Geminis, you guys have the opportunity to put your energy and effort back into something that you used to put it back into before. Opportunities in front of you. Somebody is asking you if you would like to do this, making that opportunity available to you. I think that opportunity is a good stepping stone opportunity, especially if it's financial, Gemini. But I don't think that it's a good permanent opportunity. It's a good one to fill the gaps right now. But I think whatever this is, the payoff is not. Um, really big enough to keep it going for the long term. It's just enough to fill the gaps if you've got nothing. Next up is Cancer. What are signs? Why do we like this card? We get this card more than anybody else, I think. Four of Cups showing up. Cancer, this just tells me that it's really tempting today for you guys to have a pity party. Don't do it, man. Pity parties are really tricky. I think they're really tricky because they feel justified in the moment. You know, something has happened. It is disappointing. I mean, that's there's no denying that. And so it's really easy to fall into that woe is me energy and attitude. The problem is when we fall into that woe is me energy and attitude, we bring in more stuff to make us feel woe is me. So completely non-productive. The important thing here, if we want to turn this energy around and get ourselves heading in a better direction, the important thing here is to acknowledge that there's disappointment. We don't want to suppress those emotions because we all know that's unhealthy. You know, we live in the 2020s. Everybody knows that by now. <laughs> My parents did not. <laughs> But people nowadays do. So you want to acknowledge the disappointment. And then you want to release it. So that you can actually see the opportunities that are in front of you. So when I see the pity party, I really want to encourage you. If you catch yourself falling into pity party energy. Then allow yourself to walk through it pretty fast. And then ask yourself, okay, well, that was a bummer. <laughs> Maybe you can use stronger words than that. I probably would. Um, that was a bummer. What am I going to do next? And start looking for that next thing that you're going to do that's going to be working out better than that. That's what I'm going to recommend there. Leo, 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 you're up next, my Leos. Let's see what you got. Boop, ba -da -doop, boop, 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 ba -da -doop, boop, boop. Okay. Throat's already dry, guys. I feel like I've got cotton mouth and I didn't drink. I know what I did. I ate a bunch of carbs yesterday. I'm sure some of you know what that carb hangover feels like. I'm pretty sure that's what's going on here. All right. Now, Leo's. Leo, Leo. Ten of wheels showing up here. Ten of wheels. Where am I getting that? Ten of wands. <laughs> Can you tell I woke up in the middle of the night to do this video? Panicked because I hadn't done it on time. Ten of wands, Leo. Ten of wands. Picking up new responsibilities today. You may be beginning a new job for those of you who are looking for a new job. But one way or another, picking up new responsibilities. Some of you, um, the Ten of Wands talks about taking a relationship um, into a committed territory of some kind. So this is where you would be like just dating, 
you know, not necessarily even exclusively, and this could be taking it to exclusive, um, that would be picking up responsibility. Now we're accountable to another person for at least a little part of our lives there. Um, so it could be something like that. Here's the thing that I see coming in here. Whatever is this responsibility that we're picking up, whether it has to do with relationships, jobs, or anything else, you know, maybe we're just picking up carpooling responsibilities. Uh, but it, what I see here is that it is uh, something about this responsibility. It narrows our spectrum of social interaction, let's say. So this responsibility is uh, not allowing us to be as social as we normally would, whatever that normal level is, whether it's just a little or whether it's over the top a lot. It's going to be a little bit less now. In some cases, a lot less, but for some of you, just a little bit less. And that's for Leos. Next up, let's look at Virgo, 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 Virgo. Guys, I just want to remind you, I don't say this very often anymore. I used to say it every day, but this is a general reading. It doesn't apply to everybody, but will apply to most of you. Virgo, Virgo. Virgo, you guys have a King of Cups showing up in reverse? This is just telling me that today you've got somebody in your sphere of influence who has no problem letting you know that they are not happy about something. They are probably saying this in a very quiet way. To me, this is eerily quiet. For me, I see this person, the way they communicate their unhappiness about something so quietly, it feels like the eye of the storm. I don't know if you guys have ever actually... Uh, had the interesting fortune to fortune to live through a tornado or not, but I have a couple of them. And uh, it gets really crazy when the tornado first comes into your area. And then after that first wave of craziness and turbulence and chaos, then there's this calm in the center of that tornado where there's it's quiet. And it is eerily quiet. Like the birds are not making any noise. Nothing is making any noise. It's like all of nature knows. We're keeping ducked down. This is not over yet. It is so quiet. And then the back of the tornado comes through and the chaos happens again. And then after that, everything springs back up. The animals spring out from wherever they are and start making noise again. And Whew, it is just the weirdest feeling ever. That's what this that's what this person gives me whenever they express their their unhappiness about something because they are so quiet about it. This is not so, like somebody who's losing their stuff and yelling or getting loud or who has a vein popping out of their forehead or is throwing something across the room. This is not that person. This is somebody who's very comfortable with their feelings and um they know how to express them in a more healthy way. And so whenever they say they're not happy, it's almost so understated that you don't know, like, what, what are going to be the consequences if something doesn't happen, you know? <laughs> so this is what you have in your sphere of influence today, Virgo, somebody like that. And I think that whatever is going on here, I think that this is making you feel uh, isolated. Maybe it's making you feel isolated from this person because they're not happy. So maybe you're not really feeling like having open and intimate conversation with them. <laughs> or maybe whatever it is that they're not happy about uh, for some of you is going to be um, for you to fix that is going to take maybe canceling some social plans or, you know, um, just not doing whatever your normal social thing would be to make sure that this is this is made right because of this person who expresses their unhappiness in a similar way to the eye of the storm. <laughs> Yay. All right, uh, let's see. What's interesting here, I don't know if you guys care about interesting, but what's interesting here is that with me being a Scorpio sun and having four planets there, this can easily be me, this type of communication. 
can easily be me. And yet I am totally wigged out by it whenever somebody's doing that around me. <laughs> All right, so that was Virgo. Isn't that ironic, though? Now we're looking at Libra. 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 All right, Libras, what do you guys have? Interesting. <laughs> Two of Cups coming up for you guys, Libras. This is finding something or someone that you're attracted to, fascinated by, drawn into, can't get enough of, want to spend more time getting to know or doing or whatever. Like I said, it can be a person. It can also be an activity, a recreational thing, a project. Now, this is really interesting because it's coming up with that Five of Pentacles. This tells me with the Five of Pentacles that you're so drawn into whatever this is, person or otherwise, you're so drawn in that you're not paying attention to your normal social stuff. And labor, you may also be not paying attention to your finances as well for some of you, for a lot of you, I'm hearing. But definitely, you're kind of excluding social stuff too so that you can make time to spend with whatever this is your or whoever this is you're attracted to whichever way that works out for you scorpio oh what do we have fellow scorpio pluto went retrograde yesterday however many planets we have in scorpio besides the sun we're going to be affected Pluto going retrograde and being the ruler of our sun sign or of our rising, if you're checking your rising. This is going to have to do with our energy levels. We may find that our energy levels are on a roller coaster because what's Pluto all about? Transformation. So our energy levels may be changing a lot. All right, let's see here. This is for Scorpios, yeah. Boop, ba, da, boop, boop, boop. Okay. We have the Eight of Cups showing up here for Scorpio. This is an interesting combination, Scorpio. Five of Pentacles to the Eight of Cups. Basically, this talks about the idea that maybe we have felt a little bit um, socially out on the fringes. Or maybe we felt like we're a little short of money. Eight of Cups talks about whatever it is. We're walking away from that situation. We're creating something different, something better. So we may be making some new friends or spending time with old friends, but we're not feeling left on the outside socially. And then also we may be doing something that improves our financial situation as well. Loosens up the budget a little bit. All right. All right, all right, all right. That's Scorpio. Next up, let's look at Sagittarius. Huh. Sagittarius. So far, Scorpios, like some, a lot of these are neutral so far. Or maybe even not neutral. Some of them are not neutral. They're not not exactly lovely daffodils and sunshine. Scorpio is the only one where I feel like we're making good, solid, forward progress. Although Gemini was not bad. But Gemini was a stopgap. Scorpio's feels like a more permanent solution coming in here for something. Sagittarius. Star card in reverse, Sagittarius. This tells me that you may be feeling a little bit less than hopeful about becoming more involved socially or about your financial situation. Now, I'm going to remind you, let's go back to the overall energy. Remember this key right here. Over here to the other side of the door where the keyhole is. 
we do have a choice about how we feel and we do have a choice about what we manifest. We don't have to feel less than hopeful about a situation. We can be looking around at opportunities that would give us hope. That's what I'm going to recommend that you do. If you feel this not hopeful energy coming along, turn that around and be open to the idea of maybe something could show up. Maybe an opportunity could show up. Just being open to the to the idea that maybe something positive can happen really helps a lot in these situations. We're allowing law of attraction to work in a direction that we want it to work instead of pushing it along a track we don't really like so much. All right, next up we're looking at who? Oh, Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. Goodness, we're just barely waking up and stumbling in the office to do this. This is going long. Capricorn. Okay. Six of Cups coming up in reverse. Capricorns, you've got something going on that's causing you to think about something from the past that you don't really have good memories about. And that's making you feel a little bit left out socially. Maybe even impacting your finances in a negative way. Maybe this, whatever was going on in the past, impacted your finances in a negative way in the past. Don't think about it too much. You're going to draw that in again. Maybe not the same face. Maybe not exactly the same setup, but that same energy, and we don't want that. Acknowledge those emotions and then release. Acknowledge and release. It's kind of like going fishing. When you catch a fish that you know you don't want to eat, take them off the hook, thank them for showing up, and release them back into the water. Catch and release. Same thing with feelings that we don't want to hold on to. Acknowledge those feelings, take the hook out of their mouth, release them back out into the water. Catch and release. All right, let's look at Aquarius. Nine of Pentacles. Now, this is interesting. Nine of Pentacles along with that Five of Pentacles. Aquarius, you guys are such overthinkers. Stop it. Look at this card combination. Now, those of you who know Tarot, you guys know this is, this is contrasting information. This is like having a black stripe right next to a big, bold, wide stripe. It does not blend. It doesn't go together. Aquarius, what's going on is you're doing fine. You've got everything that you need for your own independence and self-sufficiency. You're totally fine. And yet, we see you feeling left out, feeling all mopey. Why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? Okay, y'all. Why are you doing that? What's going on here? Why is Aquarius in a good place and feeling like they are not? You're worried about the future. Aquarius, you're worried about the future and you're worried about if you're going to make the right decision moving into the future for yourself. And you feel like if you make the wrong decision, you can really mess yourselves up. Look, Aquarius, you guys are smart. You guys are smart. You're one of the more intellectual signs that we have on the planet. Make your strategy. You guys are good at making your strategy. Make your plan. And follow through with your plan and you'll be fine. Make your strategy. Make your plan. Follow through with it. You'll be fine. Quit worrying about this. Quit worrying about that. You've got everything going for you. So a good way to keep everything going for ourselves is to appreciate the good that we have. 
and allow the thought that maybe that will keep going. But a good way to chop that goodness down is to worry about what's going to happen in the future and worry about your decision. So if you have a decision that you're trying to make and you're really worried about whether you're going to make it right or not, you know, do a one question reading with me and we'll look at, you know, I don't know whether I should choose this or this, which one is going to work out best for me. Spirit's not going to tell you which one to choose, but what we can look at is what happens if you choose option A and what happens if you choose option B. And then you can look at that and figure out what works best for you. What is a better fit for you? You know, if you're really hung up and can't make that choice, yeah, just get some extra insight. Whether you get a one question reading from me or whether you get a longer reading from me so you can really dig in or whether you get a reading from somebody else that you trust. But I would stress, get a reading from somebody that you trust, somebody that has a good track record with you so that you don't walk away from the reading going, oh, but I don't know how much I can trust that information. Then you've just defeated the point of the reading and you've spent some money on basically nothing. Read with somebody that you can trust, okay? To help you make those sticky decisions. But Aquarius, you guys, you all are the most intellectual sign in the group. One of the most. So make your plan. Stick with it. If you can't figure out what kind of plan to make, then yeah, you might want to get a reading. But I, I don't. I feel like you guys are just being worry words right now, honestly. You guys got this. All right, let's look at Pisces. Pisces. Queen of Cups, you're showing up in your own mojo. So Pisces, this is really interesting information. Excuse me just a second. Sorry about that. I'm back. So Queen of Cups is really interesting information for you, Pisces, because it talks about you're in your own mojo. You've got your own things happening. So here's what I think, Pisces. I think that, uh, yeah, maybe money is a little bit tight. I think you're choosing uh, socially to come away from social interactions today. And I think you're choosing to spend a day doing your stuff, you know, whether that's meditation, whether that's hiking, whether that's grounding, some other uh, rituals, whether that's just sleeping and catching up from things you've been doing before. You want to remember that this Pluto going retrograde is also impacting you because it's um, it controls Scorpio, which is a house that you're trying with. So it's having an impact on you. Maybe not as strong as it would on Scorpio and wherever it's going retrograde. I don't even remember. But it is still having a, a pretty direct impact on you. And so you may be taking some time to regroup and rethink today. Reconfigure. <laughs> some of you may be reconfiguring certain aspects of your life right now. Especially when it comes to learning new things and maybe even long distance travel, whatever long distance travel is for you. A lot of people like to say that that's overseas travel but when you're in a big country like the united states sometimes that's just travel from state to state it can be a long distance ninth house type of stuff too okay so that's what we've got for you pisces that's what we've got for everybody actually thank you guys so much for being here today i really do appreciate it so sorry i'm late and sorry that i don't look put together but i just wanted to get this video out as soon as possible i knew that i had already uh, missed some people in their normal times to watch this, so I really do apologize, and uh, I hope that most of you will see this on time. Peace out, everybody.